Okay, so real quick then, we're going to do a uh, stretch for front of the leg, your hip flexors, and another muscle called the psoas. If you haven't heard of that muscle before, it is starts on the front side and it actually goes through the pelvis and attaches to the lower vertebrae in your low back. And so it can cause some low back discomfort, especially if you sit a lot and then you go to stand and run. And you see why people have like a little sway back. We're going to uh, stretch it a little bit different. Same as when you're doing a quadricep stretch, but we have one little uh, position to change in order to get at that muscle a little bit better. And then for the hamstring. So this is just a real quick way that I go through without spending a lot of time going through a whole class of stretching. Um, and we do these as movement patterns as opposed to a real static stretch. So remember when you're doing your stretching, it's all key about your breathing and making sure you're taking an inhale and an exhale and that's when you give into the stretch on the exhale. So don't just go through the motions like we talked about and everything else is your intent and you'll get more out of things in that short amount of time if you just pay attention to really what you're doing and get your uh, breathing right, get that point of stretch, taking a deep inhale, exhale, let the body give on the stretch. That's your new stretch point and then you take another deep inhale and exhale and gives again on that on that stretch. So. That's how you need to be doing your stretching properly. There should be no grunting, groaning, pain feelings per se. It has to be un uncomfortable, but don't push and hold your breath and yourself through that through that pain. The body, the muscle's not going to release when you do it that way. So make sure that you're relaxing during the stretch. Let's go show that exercise right now for that stretch. Okay, hey, we're going to go through a quick stretch here again. There's a few key stretches that if you're not going to get any in, some of these kind of help quite a bit with uh, your low back, your knees, and uh, hips. So this is a, initially this is a hip flexor stretch. Um, I'll show it both directions from the front and from the side. But from the front, knee stays lined up straight down over the foot. And uh, the body has a center line that you're trying to pay attention to there. And you are going to be going, curving the body. Uh, across even though you keep this part fairly square here you know across the bottom you know your hip line but you're but you're curving the body you know over like that let me clear myself out and where you're supposed to be getting this or feeling this is going to be at the hip flexor some might even feel it kind of deep inside underneath the abdominal wall because there's a muscle that's on the front that goes through the pelvis and attaches on the back side and can cause some low back problems. But you're gonna be coming towards the camera here when you're doing this stretch. Always use your exhales, don't grunt and, and hold your breath and uh, 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 you know your stretches. You gotta make sure that you're taking a deep inhale and then you exhale and you do the bend and that's your new stretch point. And then you stay there and then you take in a deep inhale, exhale, psh, and you stretch just a little bit more. And then you can switch it right to a hamstring stretch, which I just did here, I sat back and I straightened out, um, straightened out my leg. Okay, so I just basically went into a hamstring stretch. And again, I keep reiterating, some of you guys might have a hard time getting into, you know, some of these positions. Just do what you can and uh, modify as necessary. And so then you're going to try and push from the chest down. So don't necessarily have to curl your head and curl up in a ball. And then from the side view, then it would look like this. And uh, again, you basically try and make sure you're staying straight up and down. Like that's my center line. So you can see I'm trying to push my hip forward. Squeezing my glutes. So I got to squeeze that muscle at the same time as I try and tighten my abs. And the arm is going up, over, and slightly back. Okay, and then you switch to the hamstring stretch. And you push your butt back and out this way and there you get your stretch back there in the back of the hamstring. Good exhales. And that's it.